Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing good this evening. Well, today we're going to talk about taking a disadvantage of clay soil and turning that into an advantage when planting. And so, guys, uh, let me explain what I've done here. Now, I dug this trench. This is where I'm going to put my pumpkins this spring. And I made a video on this, and I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. But you can see everything I did and why I did it this way. But it kind of boils down to the roots of a pumpkin and how they grow. And I explained this in the video. But basically, when I dug this trench, once I got down so far, it was almost like concrete. And if you have clay soil, you'll understand this. Now, the advantage of clay soil is, one of the good things about it is, it's full of nutrients. Clay soil has a, probably a lot more nutrients than sandy soil does. The disadvantage is trying to get your roots in there to take, you know, to take those nutrients in. So the idea here is basically what I'm trying to do is, is I'm trying to compost all this in my garden. And I'm going to show you what it looks like down below here in just a second. But guys, if you're new to gardening, you got to have four things to compost. You have to have a carbon, you have to have a nitrogen, you got to have water, and you have to have air. So what I'm doing here is I'm just breaking this down and I'm letting the bacteria, you know, the bugs, uh, the, the earthworms come up in it and, and work on this. And I've done it all fall and winter. And so now we're getting into spring and I still got, you know, a couple months left anyway, maybe three months for this to break down. So you can see, you know, there's some hay here, there's some hay here that's just really not breaking down. And that is because there's probably not enough of a nitrogen material and manure, you know, mixed in with this to help it break down. Like right here, see, that's breaking down really good. So, um, guys, I'm going to start turning this. I'm going to add dirt to it and just get all that work together here and just, you know, every other week or so, just come out here and just start turning it. Now, here's where the advantage comes in. And so... Guys, let me dig down in here a little bit. So now we're down into the dirt below the compost material. And just real quick, I'm using pig manure. And pig manure kind of gets a, a bad reputation because they say there's pathogens in it. But I don't believe that. If you're raising like an organic pork like what I'm doing, you know, you're raising these pigs yourself. I've never had a problem. Plus, pig manure has all 13 nutrients that a plant needs. So it is a very well balanced, very good fertilizer. And if you can get some organic, you know, some really good pig manure, don't be scared, no matter what you've read, don't be scared to use it in your garden. So let me show you this. So guys, you can see like right here, that's manure right there and you can see some of this it's starting to get broke down really good but this is the dirt that is along the side of my trench and down at the bottom of my trench and so it's it, and we have had a lot of rain here but it's it's really starting to get soft and guys that's going to let them roots spread out into here where normally you know, they would have a really hard time doing that. And so I think, even though I'm never going to call this work because I love to do it, but even though I had to put in a little more effort, I really do think it's going to pay off. And guys, if you want to see how this turns out and everything, my pumpkins did great last year. Please uh, consider subscribing, um, you know, because I do stuff like this all the time out here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn all this. I'm going to put the dirt in and we'll just, I'll let you know how it's turning out. But I think by May, when I start planting, I think this is going to look pretty good. So guys, that's the video and I hope you enjoyed it. And hey, I'll see you later. Thank you.